In this video, we will be exploring all of the playback fader options. To adjust the options available for a particular playback, first select playback parameters from the top right corner of the touchscreen. Then select the playback that you wish to adjust the options for. You will now see in the top corner release mode. There are three release modes to choose from. The first release mode is freeze all attributes. This will hold all recorded attributes except for intensity when taking the fader to zero. In our example, we have a single cue with all of our hypno beams facing downstage in blue. When we bring up the fader, you will see that the hypnos are moving, changing color, and fading up at the same time. When we use freeze all attribute, all the parameters will hold after taking the fader to zero. You will see that we can bring the fader up and down several times and the lights will no longer move or change color because those attributes are being held in the console's memory. In order to release the held attributes, you will need to use the off button. Press off and you will see it illuminated. Then press the button below the fader you wish to release. This will release the held attributes. Make sure you press off again to exit the mode. The next mode is release all attribute. This releases all the attributes every time the fader is brought to zero. We will demonstrate by changing the mode on our example to release all attribute and bringing the fader up and down. This time, you will see the fixture moving into position every time. The final mode is Release All, Only Pan and Tilt. This holds all the attributes except for Pan and Tilt. We will now change the mode on our example and demonstrate this. You will now see that the fader releases the Pan and Tilt, but the blue ring is held and fades in with the fader. The direction and loop options are for chases only. Direction will change the direction your cues are running in. Loop run will set your cue list automatically to loop back to your first cue after it reaches the last cue. If it is set as stop in last cue, your cues will run until they reach the last cue and then stop. The rest of these options on this page can also be found on the edit playback window, as this may be easier to use. Here you will be able to quickly adjust your playback parameters by selecting the playback you wish to make changes to from the on-screen list. Once highlighted, you will see that each line corresponds to the individual playback or cue, followed by the scene number. On the bottom left, you have playback priority. The console has five levels of priority for its playback. They go from very low, low, normal, high to very high. Parameter values saved on higher priority playbacks cannot be overwritten by parameters saved to lower priority playbacks. Parameters saved in other playbacks that are the same priority are changed by whatever parameter was the latest to change, also known as LTP, or latest takes precedence. You will then see link mode which we have already covered in our Creating Cues video. Next, we have Sound Active, which syncs a cue list up to audio coming through the rear microphone or audio jack. Skip Start Runtime, which when enabled will skip the timing on the first cue of a playback. Effect by Fader applies only to effects and allows you to use the fader to control the size, speed, or both parameters of an effect, which we have previously explained in our effects tutorial. Lock page for fader will fix a playback to a location which will not be affected to which page the console was on. Finally, chase mode toggles a cue list to a chase and vice versa.